Well, in case you forgot to check CoinGecko the last few weeks, Solana is going bananas. Welcome in, my friends. I'm David. I'm here with CryptoTutorials.org, and today I am excited to talk with you about Solana. Solana's growth has been unbelievable in the last month, and there are a few not so well-known reasons why this is really happening. They'll help give you an idea if you think this, you know, is just a short-lived trend or is something that's going to continue and grow. Because, I mean, here is the chart for for Solana for the last thirty days, and you can see less than, you know, this is right now today. It is the fifth. It's September fifth, just so you know. Back on August 13th, less than a month ago, it was at 43. It's up at 143 right now. To see over 2x, 3x growth out of a top 10 token in that amount of time is impressive. And I'm gonna show you exactly what is driving this and let you have a, a backseat or you know a, a look over my shoulder to see if you think this is something gonna continue. All right, do me a favor. Tap on that like button down below. That's gonna make sure anybody who searches for Solana videos is gonna get a chance to see this and see this great information. Uh, hammer the, the subscribe. That'll make sure that next time I release a cool video, I've got some you know awesome more Solana videos coming up. I've got some other um, tokens that I'm really researching and looking into. So you'll get to see all these new things as they roll out, all right? Well, let's dive on in and get started. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Seek a professional. All right, check this out. Not too long ago, I did an airdrop. And from that airdrop, I was it was a bounty airdrop. I was able to get $200 worth of Blockto token before Blockto comes on the market. Blockto is a really exciting new uh, wallet that's going to revolve around the Flow blockchain where a lot of big projects are coming out. So this is, this is a token that's got legs. It's going to go somewhere, um, I truly believe. But anyway, so they're offering this really cool sale. And guess what? Here's the timeline, but look at this. It's for a community sale. How do you become part of the community? Well, if you took the Blocktopian quiz, uh, if you were whitelisted as a Blockto user, if you were part of the general public, some people got in. They were the last level of it. But how do you become part of these two? Well, if you were part of the community doing the um, airdrop, you would have been in and been whitelisted. You would have also had a chance to take the quiz. And if you took the quiz, you became a tier one person. And what do you get because of this? You get a chance to buy more of the token early. So not only did you get some free as an airdrop, but you got a chance to get in on an ICO of a token before it goes public. This is why airdrops are so valuable. Whether it's NFTs, IDOs, ICOs, all sorts of early access is being granted to the people who help build the community around these blockchain projects. So get into the airdrops. Take my airdrop masterclass. It's at getmyfreecrypto.com. That is the website down below. Take this. You'll learn how to do airdrops. Start doing airdrops and you will find opportunities to buy in on early tokens. I'll show you all of this completely free. But trust me, take advantage of this offer while it is still there. Well, if you've been paying attention, you've seen me talk about uh, Star Atlas recently. It was a token I was very excited to see drop, but it's also a game that I'm really excited to see come out. I I'm not personally a big video game player. I probably will play this one just because I'm, I'm curious beyond belief about it, but this is called Star Atlas. So Star Atlas released, they've been releasing for about six months, different pieces of content here, um, and it's all on the Solana blockchain. So if you want to buy their NFT posters, you need Solana tokens. If you want to buy their, uh, buy in on their new token drop when they did the token sale, it's all on Solana. Let me show you what we got going on in here. If you um, jump into the play here, you can see there's all these different wild and crazy ships and they're um, going to be going on sale for it. There have already been posters that have gone on sale, but you know, some of these 72 of this ship are going to be available. They're talking about prices of 25,000 USD coins that people are spending. So there's serious money that's going into this game. Um, when it launched its token, it launched it on three different sites. One of them here is one that I was pulling up to look at. This is where I tried to pick some up. Uh, it's called Radium. So Radium had for this pool, there were two pools on Radium. Radium for this pool had about 123,000 people that had staked 69 USD coins each to try to get in on that. Okay, that's about $8 million in this pool alone. Then you got the other pool, you got two other exchanges, one of which had twice as much as this, and you're probably talking $100, $150 million invested. Plus, in order to just get a shot at this one, uh, you had to have some radium state. 
you need a hundred radium coin stakes. So there's another, you know, 700,000, maybe at this point, I think it's probably 14, $1,500 you'd have to put in to get a hundred radium coins. So all of this is a lot of money that was moved into the Solana blockchain to participate in this. Come to today, now it's being swapped publicly on the, on the um, DEX on Serum, sorry. Blank for a second on the Serum DEX. That's the the decentralized exchange that's on the Solana blockchain, and you can see right now, you know, the token's down a little bit. It's at 19 cents. It's been up and down and, and around, but it's only been here for you know a week, less than a week. This token is old, and it's doing a hundred million dollars in trading volume on Solana every day. So you can see something like this. These games. There are more games coming out. Solana is fast and cheap. Everything that's being a problem with Ethereum is the speed of transaction and the cost of transaction. Gas fees are berserk these days. I was looking to buy an NFT the other day and my gas fee was $150 just to buy this NFT. Like that's crazy. Um, Solana is the opposite of that and it's fully established. It's, it's not like Cardano, one of those that still has, you know, just rolling out smart contracts. Smart contracts have been out for a while. There are exchanges, multiple of them. There are staking platforms. There are all kinds of different technologies being built out already on Solano. It's up and running and running fast. And that's why it was ready to grow when people ran into these problems with Ethereum. But gaming is a great one for Solana because you need speed. You don't want to pick up a new NFT in the middle of a video game and have it take seven minutes on Ethereum to record on the blockchain, like seconds, you know, or less than a second. I think they can process 250,000 transactions per second or something like that. It's, it's crazy magnitudes faster um, than Ethereum. So that's one of the big reasons that I think is driving this price in Solana is these games and gaming tokens. The other big one is related as well, but it's the NFTs, man. NFTs are bonkers through the roof. This is Aurori. It's another gaming project, um, but it released its NFTs that were like character skins. About a week ago, it released them. And I tried to get in on it. I know a lot of other people tried to get in on it. The floor price on them was five Solana coins per uh, NFT that you were going to buy. So you assume well, some people probably were looking at more than one, but we're just running the numbers on one. They said that in three seconds, 350,000 350, IP addresses tried to purchase one. The 10,000 of them were sold out in three seconds. But there were 350,000 IP addresses attempting to purchase them. If you do the math on that with five Solana coins each, 350,000 people, they were about $120 a Solana coin. That is $200 million in Solana that was in, in people's wallets ready for that NFT drop. And now they're selling on the secondary market for a hundred Solana, a thousand Solana. They're selling for, you know, crazy values now. If you got one, you're super lucky. In fact, you're super lucky because their contract messed up and they had to sell them for one Solana instead of five by accident. So they lost out on millions. But this is, you know, think about $200 million in Solana coins being bought and put into wallets ahead of an NFT drop. Think about what that will do to drive the market. Now you've got that driving the market, which makes the investors look at it and go, hey, Solana, this looks like a great one. And they stick them in and that drives it even more. Well, now the next sale that goes on for the next NFT, people have to spend even more. And it's it's just pushing this up. Um, and I think, you know, Cardano, it's going to take a little while for their ecosystem to develop. They're finally getting around to smart contracts. They're another fast, cheap blockchain. Um, you do have Matic Polygon, which probably some of this is going to go on to Matic Polygon. But it seems that Solana, from the you know the insiders I'm I'm chatting with in the NFT world, this is where they're this is where they're putting their um, faith and their hope that Solana is going to be able to do what Ethereum is not able to do because ETH 2.0 is still six months, maybe a year minimum away. That might save it. That might finally get gas fees under control um, and get the speed up. But it's going to take a little while to roll out. This bugger's ahead. So anyway, those are the two big reasons that I think that Solana um, is blowing up. The two big things people aren't talking about, NFTs and gaming. Uh, once again, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy Solana. I'm happy to tell you that I am buying Solana, but I don't tell you what to do with your money. Um, I'll just tell you what I'm doing with mine sometimes. Do me a favor, tap on that like. I know you learned something by watching this video. Hammer that subscribe button. That's right, you're gonna get in on the next videos coming up. Uh, I am gonna do some on some really cool NFTs that I'm excited to see come out in September. So you're gonna wanna learn about those. Uh, but 
hit those two, you'll be ready to rock and roll. And I wish you the best. Have a wonderful day. Aloha.